much for anyone who wants to play this acoustic version there are three options to play it on a guitar I can see through the stars in, in option one you will have to deal with five difficult chords in this option you will be able to use three simple chord shapes and just two difficult chord shapes and how to arrive with this new set of simple chords, you'll have to apply transposing. Transposing is to write or perform a musical composition in another key. The song is in key of D sharp major. If we transpose down to key of D, which is a half step lower than the original key of D sharp, we will have a set of three simple chord shapes and just two bar chord shapes. Transposing D sharp major a half step lower would give us D major. Transposing G minor a half step lower would give us F sharp minor. Transposing C minor a half step lower would give us B minor. Transposing G sharp major a half step lower would give us G major and transposing A sharp major a half step lower would give us A major. So the new set of chords are D, F sharp minor, B minor, G major, and A major. Looking at the table of chord diagrams, you'll find out that two of these chords are bar chords, which are F sharp minor and B minor. The other three are simple and easy chords. So these chords are manageable for beginners. To be able to understand more about transposing, you need to learn a lesson on tones and intervals. Click this link for that lesson. Now we have a set of chords that is manageable, but this new set of chords sounds lower than the record key of the song because this new set of chords are the results of transposing down the previous set of chords by a half step. To be able to use this set of chords at record key, all we have to do is to position a capo at first fret. As placing a capo at first fret will raise the sound of each of these chords by a half step. So D major with a capo at first fret actually is the sound of D sharp major. F sharp minor with a capo at first fret is actually the sound of G minor. B minor with a capo at first fret is actually the sound of C minor. G major with a capo at first fret is actually the sound of G sharp major. And A major with a capo at first fret is actually the sound of A sharp major. Here's a capo, position it at first fret. Now this capo at first fret will take the role of the knot. So if you play D, you'll have your D major shape here. But this sound is actually the sound of D sharp major. As the actual D major is right here, can hear it sounds lower. Now if you put a capo at first fret, that means shortening the length of the strings and you keep the position of the fingers just like how you put your fingers for D major. With the capo taking the position of the knot, you will have your D major here. But the sound is actually the sound of D sharp major. And for F sharp minor, if you look at the table of chord diagram, for F sharp minor, you have your index finger two frets from the knot. Now this becomes the knot. And the other two fingers are here. But since we have a capo at first fret, this is actually the sound of G minor. As the actual F sharp minor is this one you can hear it sounds lower. Similarly for B minor, it's actually the sound of C minor. 
and for G major for this shape it's not the sound of G major but the sound of G sharp major as the actual sound of G major of course without a capo would be your shape would be here as you can hear it sounds lower but now with the capo at first fret and your shape here is here you have the shape of G major but the sound is actually the sound of G sharp major and similarly A major is right here all three fingers are two frets from the nut but with the capo at first fret and you keep the position of the dots with the capo taking the roll of the nut so you'll have your fingers here now this sounds higher and this is the sound of a sharp major click this link for the playthrough or demonstration of this option i hope you find this tutorial helpful in learning to play the song don't forget to click the like and please subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching.